Good morning and welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas. If I look familiar, um, that's because I've just recorded the end of yesterday's video um, where I very badly demonstrated how to skein up a skein of yarn. Wasn't my finest hour, but we'll go with it. <laughs> um, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, um, then it was a tutorial for how to dye this skein of yarn, basically. Um, I'm really happy with the results. It's really pretty, festive little skein of yarn, um, and hopefully people will find it okay. Um, honestly, I have a lot of anxiety about putting a tutorial video like that up because all kinds of things could go wrong. <laughs> but hopefully I explained myself well enough and people were able to follow along and found it fun. So we will see. Today is Thursday, I think, and it's again pretty much a work day for me. I've got my shop update tomorrow evening, so I need to crack on with getting the last of the stripes wound. I need to start getting listings done. I need to start getting photos done, all of that kind of thing. I do have, where have I put it? Um, this, which I've not shown you yet. So this is the poinsettia colorway, all balled up. This is one of the 50 gram balls. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. Um, and last night I managed to get a little start of a swatch done. Um, so there it is. I'm really pleased with how the colors came out. Come on camera, wake up. There we go. <laughs> it's like it listened to me, isn't it? Um, I'm really pleased with how the colours have come out. Um, I've done a green mini for the heels and toes because I thought that would be really nice just to add a little bit of extra green in, a bit more from the foliage um, if you're doing heels, toes and cuffs in the main colour. So that is the poinsettia colourway. I need to get winding them though now. Um, and I'm also, what else am I doing today? I'm also dyeing up the um, the last minis club, um, the minis club for December, which is the last of the marvellous monthly minis club. Um, I am dyeing that up today and hopefully, well, I will get it shipped out before Christmas because I'm not going to be here over Christmas, so it needs to be gone. Um, so I need to get that done. But I already did one set, so I've already got a recipe so it's not too complicated, which is quite nice. So I just need to crack on really and get all of the work things done today. So today's pretty much gonna be a day in the life, I think. I haven't opened my advents from yesterday. Um, I went for my booster vaccination yesterday um, and then obviously also filmed the tutorial video um, and did hundreds of other things because that's life. Um, <laughs> so I'm feeling all right today. I'm feeling a little bit tired. My left arm is a little bit sore, um, but fortunately when I'm winding, it's mostly my right arm, so I should be okay to just crack on with it. Um, but yeah, the day just got away from me and I didn't get a chance to open my advent calendars until it was really late and I thought in the end, do you know what, I'm just gonna save them and then I can open two today. So I will definitely share them with you a little bit later on. But for now, I need to get on with some work and drink more tea. No, no. Tonight when lights are low The treetops are covered up in snow And I always miss you so I know that it's Christmas time again The reindeer are rushing side by side And Santa is going for a ride But it's you I'm longing for it's Christmas time again Missing all these little things that we used to do Everything was so much better back then When we wished upon a star and our dreams came true How I wish you were here When it's Christmas time again It's Christmas time It's 
Christmas time again Alone here, right by the fireplace I dream of that smile upon your face Only you I'm longing for I feel that it's Christmas time again I'm Good afternoon. Today is one of those Vlogmas days where I'm scrapping most of what I've recorded today because I've spent most of the day talking to the camera and whinging <laughs> about how much work I've got to do, how much I don't want to do my work and how I haven't got enough time to do all the work I want to do and all of those things <laughs> which you don't really want to hear about all day long. And you know, don't get me wrong, running a small business can be really, really hard work. Um, you know, when the kids come home and you've still got work to do and there's lots going on, and of course I'm doing Vlogmas as well, so I'm also conscious of trying to record stuff that's gonna be interesting for you and not just me randomly talking to the camera and whinging about how much work I've got to do. And yeah, it is, it is hard work, but at the same time, I don't wanna just whinge about it because this lets me not only Am I fortunate enough to be able to have turned my hobby into my job, which is amazing because I get to do something I love every day. I get to dye yarn and I get to create things and I get to basically be an artist, which is no nothing I ever really thought I would do. Um, so I really can't complain about it at all. It means I get to be home. It means I get to pick my kids up from school every day. It means that I'm always able to take time off if I have to, to look after the kids when they need it. So yeah, I really can't complain because I am so, so fortunate to have this job. Um, so we're not gonna whinge about how much work I've got to do. We're gonna stop. <laughs> we are going to just accept that we're nearly there. Um, anyway, I've just packed up some orders and I've got the last batch of um, dyeing on for today. It, I've run a bit late and yeah, the kids are home. It's, what is it now? It's just coming up to five. Um, I've just heard Tom, my absolute lifesaver of a husband, um, come downstairs and he has started making the mints for our lasagna tonight. Um, I put the, well, started making the bolognese sauce. I put the mints out, I took the mints out of the freezer um, earlier and I haven't got around to cooking it and uh, yeah I'm still working so I'm not gonna get around to cooking it but he has come down and he has started cooking it and I cannot again I cannot stress how fortunate I am that I have a husband who is amazing and will quite happily cook dinner when everybody's busy or will just take the load off with the kids when everybody's busy and he is he is amazing absolutely amazing do you want to see the absolute chaos that is my stock at the moment? <laughs> having had a couple of shows this year and um, yeah, having obviously moved house and not quite being used to the new storage space and the new garage space. And I'm also feeling a little bit like we want to get it converted. So how long is it going to take us before we can do that? It's not really a permanent space. So it all feels a little bit messy at the moment. But do you want to have a look? Here we go, so this is the current situation for storing all my stock. Um, I've got massive great shelves. Um, they're really tall, like I'm reaching up and I can just about, just about reach the top of these. <laughs> um, but you've got my 3D sock machine is up there. We've got a box up there which contains um, spare stuff. I'm really liking having a big box that I can just dump, like when I've dyed contrast minis and I've got leftovers and when I've got spare clubs, I can just dump them in that box and sort them out at a later date. I've got a little bit of organisation going on because I have got my, most of my boxes are labelled correctly. So this is all DK, this is minis and sock sets, um, this is merino nylon, that's all BFL nylon. Then we reach the chaos. My shelves are not big enough. <laughs> so we've got three boxes down here. Uh, well, not even three. How many are there? Five. Goodness me. Um, this one is a box of stuff that isn't in the shop yet, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it might be a mix of... Oh, no, it's, it's singles. It's singles and then the addition of stuff that isn't in the shop yet, because I'm that organised. We've then got um, the stuff that went in the shop recently, which I need to do put somewhere else. And then we've got chaos down the bottom there, basically. And then behind that, we've got more normal stock. 
So we've got another box of merino, well, another two boxes with merino nylon in, a box with merino bamboo in, and then a box down the very, very bottom there with um, kits in. So yeah, it's not the easiest when it comes to packing orders, really. I've also just got chaos everywhere here. This has come back from shows. Look, this is, this is my bag from shows, which is absolute chaos and I've not put away. And the same with that. That's all of my um, sheets and stuff for using in shows that I've also not put away because this year has been chaos and I need to be more organised in January. I really, really, really do. Okay, the dinner is bubbling away thanks to my wonderful husband. <laughs> and I wanted to talk about my dragon because one of the things I did yesterday was manage to actually finally get round to dyeing up some DK minis to go with my dragon. So I'm making this dragon here um, from the Unicorns, Dragons and More Fantasy Amigurumi book from Meteor Books. Um, and this one is called um, Koji, Koji the Baby Dragon. Um, this is the one I'm making. These books are brilliant, by the way. They've got so many different fantastical amigurumi patterns. Um, and they're relatively simple to use. Well, not that I've completed anything from one of them yet. But um, it's my first ever amigurumi pattern. And so far, so good. <laughs> so I have crocheted the body of my dragon, as you can see. Um, but then I stalled because the next step involved using... Um, one of the other contrast colours and I hadn't come up with my contrast colours at that point. I'm using um, this yarn which is a DK yarn from Kate Celine. Um, I think it was called Christmas Tree or something like that. Um, but it's very pretty and I'm really enjoying how it's working up in the body of the dragon. And what I wanted to do was pick out a few of the colours from the dragon's body. Um, so I've actually picked out the fuchsia, the bright fuchsia pink. Um, so we've got a mini in that bright fuchsia pink. I've picked out the blue. Um, so I've actually got like a turquoisey blue colour that I've dyed. I've picked out the yellow. So again, I've got a bright yellow that I've dyed. And then I also picked out some of the orange bits so I've dyed up some orange to go with it as well. Um, so it's going to be a really bright colourful dragon because what I'm planning is that it will have bright pink spikes down the back, <laughs> it will have um, an, oh I've forgotten which way around I was going to do it now, yeah it's going to have bright pink spikes down the back, it's going to have an orange tummy or a yellow tummy I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how we go. Um, the wings will be whatever colour. So either orange or yellow between the wings and these bits. which And the bits of the wings will match like the toenails will be the same colour. I'm thinking possibly the yellow because I think that might be the least, the least kind of, the colour that stands out the least, if that makes sense. Um, so possibly the yellow. Um, excuse the state of my fingernails. You can tell I've been dyeing yarn today. I'm filled with dye. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do... We're going to do bright pink spikes down the back. We're going to do um, an orange tummy. And then we're going to do yellow for the inside of the wings and for the nails. And then we're going to do blue for the, the base of the feet, um, I think, is the plan. And what I've actually dyed is 10 gram DK minis. Um, I didn't mean to purchase these. It was a complete accident. I um, There was a bit of miscommunication between me and my supplier because I, I accidentally wrote down the wrong code. I wrote down the code for the DK minis, uh, for the 10 gram DK minis. But in um, where I'd put the text in, I'd put 20 gram minis. And anyway, between the two of us, we messed it up and I ended up with some DK 10 gram minis, which I've never used before. Um, but I thought, oh, I might as well keep them. I hadn't ordered very many, so it's not the end of the world. Um, and so I've actually dyed up, I think each of these is 50 grams. I've dyed five, five 10 gram minis. 
Um, but I'm wondering whether there'd be any interest in 10 gram mini bundles if I just dyed up a load of 10 gram minis on DK. Would it be fun? Would people, have people got DK scrappy blankets that would like 10 gram minis for them? I'd be curious to know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to skein these up and then I've got the colours to finally carry on with my little dragon who will no longer be just a body. Day corner. <laughs> so today's joke has been sent in to us um, by um, a little girl called Helen, um, and this is this is this is what she says. Um, she has a question for us. How can you tell that Santa is good at karate? Mm. It's a tricky one. Um, it's because he's got a black belt. Yeah, thank you, Helen, for that question. Um, and Merry Christmas um, to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> 